During his two decades in Congress, Senator Sykesby Chambliss earned a reputation as an advocate for agriculture. Chambliss helped shape the nation's agriculture policy by helping write four farm bills during his tenure in the U.S. House and in the Senate. Well, my first connection to Georgia agriculture obviously came about as a result of my move to Moultrie straight out of law school. Um, I uh, had early on experience in agriculture because my grandfather was a farmer and my brother and I used to spend the summers with him and we'd do everything from pick cotton to work on the dairy side and whatnot. He advocated for American farmers as they faced the uncertainty that came along with the new century, the increased competition and opportunity introduced by more relaxed international trade policies and increased concerns about fuel supplies and environmental issues. He was what they called a quiet leader. He didn't rant and rave in Washington, D.C., um, but people looked to him and he was so well respected from both sides of the aisle and he truly made a difference and he is absolutely greatly missed. Chambliss's two passions, law and agriculture, have always been intertwined. As a boy growing up in Tennessee, Chambliss developed his public speaking ability through his local 4-H club. Because my family moved from time to time, we'd always move in the summertime, and I have a brother who's a year older than I am, and Al and I would have to go out in the community and make friends, just cold calling on, on people who became our friends. And um, I think as a result of that, I never shied away from walking into a cafe in rural Georgia and walking around introducing myself to everybody because I had grown up that way. After his undergraduate studies at the University of Georgia, Chambliss attended law school. He then started his career as an attorney in his hometown of Moultrie, representing the interests of local farmers. Well, all the girls were attracted to Saxby, so my first impression was this is a guy I better get to know. Strawberry red hair, 6'2", good athlete, South Georgia boy. Saxby was a big man on campus. He became my best friend in college. We ended up dating at the Five Mu house. We married sorority sisters. He married Julianne and I married Diane, both of whom were Five Mu's. We remained good friends throughout our careers and ended up in the United States Senate together. When he was elected from the Georgia's 8th Congressional District to the House of Representatives in 1994, his position on the Agriculture Committee made him a key player on the passage of several farm bills. Senator Chambliss was the voice for Southern Ag and he um, was looked to by so many um, to, to not only speak for Georgia producers but to speak for all of the Southeast and all of, all of the states would come to him for advice and, and to speak on their behalf. Chambliss was elected to the U.S. Senate in 2002. He chaired the Senate Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition, and Forestry. Well, I don't think anybody in the history of the United States Senate ever went to the United States Senate as a freshman and became chairman of an important committee like Saxby did. His first year in the Senate, he became chairman of the Ag Committee, which was critically important at a time we were writing an agriculture bill and a farm bill. Saxby was the leader on that. Without Saxby, we would not have gotten it done. Georgia is right in the middle of all of that because of our our place in the agricultural world, um, not just here in the United States, but truly in, in other parts of the world also. Chambliss has been awarded the American Farm Bureau's Golden Plow Award, the National Wheat Growers Association Wheat Advocate Award, and the National Cotton Council's Harry S. Baker Distinguished Service Award. Well, I'm kind of overwhelmed by it. Um, I mean, agriculture in Georgia is just number one. I mean, that's it. Uh, particularly for somebody from rural South Georgia, where I'm from. Um, all of my friends are farmers and uh, are, are agribusiness people. We, we, as a community, depend on agriculture, and for me to be recognized by the agriculture community in this way is very overwhelming, very humbling, and I'm just extremely honored. He has also been named to the National 4-H Hall of Fame and the Georgia Peanut Hall of Fame. Saxby's like an old shoe. He's comfortable, he's reliable, you won't slip and you won't slide and you'll get to where you need to go. Chambliss is married to Julianne Frobert Chambliss and they have two children and six grandchildren. Congratulations to Saxby Chambliss, the 2015 Georgia Agricultural Hall of Fame inductee.